took the wheel out and it's got this axle kind of thing the tires itself got these holes that I could bolt it onto and so this guy will need to get a bracket of some sort uh, I don't really do welding so I'm gonna have to fabricate something I think I'm gonna have it upright kind of like that kind of hard to show with one hand but yeah I think this will work the spindle and the bolts bolt it into that wheel the back side and then mount this <laughs> I gotta mount this still. Make sure it doesn't, doesn't move. There it is. Crazy, right? Now I got a motorized go kart. Not go kart, beach kart. I just gotta mount this guy. I could turn actually. Look. Turn. Turn. I want to try. Turn. That looks so cool. Turn. Here, you can sit down. Sit? No. Oh. Okay. Wow. 200 pound people right here. And we're driving. <laughs> You're 150 pounds. This is crazy, dude. I can just sit down. I'm going to be like driving. I want to drive. So I just showed you guys the motor on the one side of the wheel. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it. So that way uh, you can see. I'm actually just using a, uh, a motor from the wheelchair. Uh, we're gonna attach it to here. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have four screws that's gonna correspond right into the middle of these. And we're going to mark them, we're going to drill through, and what we do is mount these bolts on, and uh, this this spindle, this thing, I'm not sure what, what it's called, but uh, it's part of the uh, part of the wheelchair, so um, quite easy to do, actually, so uh, let's go ahead and do it, and uh, I'll show you guys how I did it, we're going to end up with two motors, one on each side all right all right so this is the wheelchair motor and uh let's see if you guys can take a closer look all right so behind this spoke there's uh four screws that we can take out actually you know what i think if we just took this out i forgot how it was done if we took these screws out, this whole thing comes up. The whole uh, wheel comes off. So let's go ahead and do that. And you just knock this up. This is kind of old and cruddy. That's why it doesn't come out immediately. So you just use a hammer and help it along. There's a part in here, this little pin. Very important not to lose it, because we're gonna need that. And then it exposes these screws. When, to, when we take this out, this is gonna be that spindle right there. So it's kind of perfect to have this.
So once we have the screws taken out, this little part just comes right out. And this is what we're gonna be using to mount onto the wheel. So now we could just get rid of this or save it for another project of some sort. Okay, and these are our five sixteenths, uh, three and a half inch bolts. Um, depending on the type of uh, model wheels that you're buying from the wheelchair, you may need different sizes, but this seems to fit pretty perfectly here. So I insert one of these, put on the bolt, and then I'll eventually do all four of them on all four and then we'll align it onto the wheel to see we're trying to center it as much as possible as best as we can and then we're gonna outline where we're gonna drill these holes into the rim um, so we're gonna go ahead and put on the uh, four bolts first Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and tighten, tighten all these bolts. All right. And then now we're gonna outline where we're gonna drill. But we wanna center this part with this piece right here. So you put it down here and put it over that should center as much as best as we can and then we're gonna go ahead and mark where we need to we need to drill the hole to add these uh these bolts okay hopefully i can show you a close-up as best as i can here so this is uh, the four bolts that's gonna go on to the uh, uh, rim um, so we need to center it as best as we can so with the help of this rod, I'll put it down there, there. And then we just kind of eyeball it as best as we can there. And I'm gonna mark out where I'm gonna drill the holes for these bolts. Might not be perfect, but that's where we want our bolts to be. All right, next step is to drill the holes through here. So a little mistake on my part, um, I had I had the hole drilled kind of by where this um, uh, little valve is. I should have moved it over a little bit, but uh, it, it, it still work. I just have to kind of move this out of the way a little bit. So, um, the, the spindle thing goes right over it, uh, like that, and then we'll put the, and then we'll put the screws, um, to secure it. Actually, let's go ahead and put another, uh, bolt, uh, another nut in here first. All right, now we have the bolt on here, the, the nut. Uh, let's go ahead and tighten these. Now that we got the bolt tightened, go ahead and fit it onto the uh, rim. Um, each side of the rim is gonna need a washer. So we're gonna go ahead and insert the washer into here and then just kind of move the valve stem away a little bit yeah, there we go all right and then we can do any kind of adjustments from here to make it align make it straight so let me show you the other side um i guess we can go ahead and Secured in place also. So just go ahead and put the washers on and put the nut 
uh, to at least just secure it. I don't have to tighten it yet, just secure it. Uh, there we go. And now it's just about, now it's just about aligning this and making it straight. Okay, so I messed up right here. Um, this this portion of the spindle, this side needs to be on the outside. I had it, I had it the opposite side. So I'm gonna take it back out and uh, take take the bolt out and put it through this side instead. Also, almost forgot. So before we bolt this on, make sure we put this plate back onto here. Put the screws back on. Because what this plate does is help us secure the uh, motor onto this uh, spindle thing. So make sure we do that part. Okay, second attempt. Okay, and now we just play with the depth to see how far or how close we want the uh, the motor to be. Okay, and then it's just about securing these in place. Okay, this is the spindle and you see it's going pretty straight. So it does take a little time to adjust the bolts. You know, if, 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 if this side is sticking out too much, then you might want to tighten the bolt on this side to get it to get it to be even out. Now it's a very even spin. So I'm happy with that. So now we can go ahead and tighten up the bolts. And then if you want, you can remove this part too. This is uh, for the brick, I think. I'm not familiar with it. Um, and uh, I don't know how to incorporate the brick with this system or the way I'm using it. So if you know how, you, you can go ahead and use it. Uh, I'm just showing you my build, the way I, I'm going to be doing it. So uh, I won't be using the brick. This part goes to the brick, so if you want to, you can go ahead and snip it. Alright, and now we're just going to clean it up a little bit. Alright, we're going to go ahead and flip this guy back over and then mount the, uh, mount the motor. So now we are gonna mount the motor onto the wheel. But for me, this is just temporary because I'm actually gonna build out a frame for the cart itself. Um, so I just want it temporary to, look, to see what it looks like. And then I'm actually gonna build a frame around it. So then after that, I will uh, position it permanently.
Okay, now let's go ahead and test it. So at this point, you're all done installing the motor if you're not planning on doing anything else to it. All you have to do now is to add the throttle control so you can control the acceleration and you can watch my other video on how to do that. Then find a way to secure the motor to the cart using something maybe like a U-bolt or a hose clamp and you should be good to go hauling up to 300 pounds of weight. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.